Benzene is not the only molecule that can undergo electrophilic substitution reactions. Other aromatic molecules such as pyrrole and pyridine can also undergo electrophilic substitution reactions and these are the two molecules that we're going to focus on in this lecture. So let's begin by discussing the electrophilic, the electrophilic substitution of the pyridine molecule. So this is our pyridine molecule and this is the Lewis acid, our electrophile. So the electrophile, our Lewis acid, interacts with our nucleophile, the Lewis base, and in two steps, we produce one of four possible products. So basically, there are, four, there are three different positions onto which the electrophile can actually attach itself onto. The question is, which one does the electrophile attach to and why? So basically, does the electrophile attach to the fourth carbon, the third carbon, or the second carbon, where our count begins with one on the nitrogen, this is two, three, four, five, six, and back to one. So there are three possible positions onto which the electrophile, the Lewis acid, can basically attach itself onto. But the question is, which one is the most likely to take place and why? So let's begin with the fourth position. So if the electrophile E with the positive symbol attaches to our fourth position, that is this carbon, then we get three resonance stabilized structures. So we get structure one, where the positive charge is on this carbon, the fifth carbon. Structure number two, where the positive charge has been delocalized onto our electronegative nitrogen and to the third position. So the positive charge has been delocalized onto the third position because of the movement of our pi bond. So at first glance, it might seem like the fourth position substitution reaction does readily take place. But one thing that we must notice is the fact that nitrogen, as mentioned earlier, is a very electronegative atom. And electronegative atoms do not like to bear positive charge. And whenever they do have a positive charge, that will create a destabilizing effect. So even though we have three resonance stabilized forms, on one of these forms, the charge, the positive charge, is found on an electronegative atom, the nitrogen atom, and that is a destabilizing phenomenon. Now let's examine what happens when the electrophile moves or attaches onto the set or the third position. So this molecule here. So the electrophile attaches to position number three and we also form three resonance stabilized structures. So structure one in which the charge is found on this carbon, structure number two on which the pi bond has been moved here and so the charge has been delocalized onto this carbon and this structure where the pi bond has moved here and the charge has moved on to carbon number four. So we see that not only do we have three resonance stabilized forms, so the charge is delocalized among three different atoms, but all these atoms are carbon atoms. The charge in the third position substitution is not found on the nitrogen and this is a more stabilizing effect than in this case where the charge is on our nitrogen. So this will take place and this will be more likely to take place than this. What about the second position? Well, a similar analyzation or examination of the resonant forms for the, uh, the second substitution, the substitution on the second carbon position shows us that we also have three resonant forms, but our charge is also found on the nitrogen position in one of these forms. And just like this, this will be a destabilizing effect. And so we see that 
whenever we have pyridine that reacts with an electrophile via the substitution electrophilic substitution reaction the electrophile will be most likely to attach onto the third position and not the fourth or second position because it's in the third position that the charge is not delocalized onto the electronegative nitrogen atom. So now let's discuss aromatic substitution with parole. So we can basically make a similar argument with parole, except for parole, there are two different positions and not three that the electrophile can attach itself. So if it attaches itself to the second position, where this is the first, so this is the second position, we get the following three resonance stabilized forms. And even though the positive charge is found on the nitrogen in this case, this, the third position substitution only produces two resonance stabilized forms. And we see that we also have a positive charge on the nitrogen in this potential pathway. So that basically means if we compare this pathway to this pathway, this produces a more thermodynamically more stable resonance structure in which we have three structures here and we have only two structures here. So because we have more delocalization of the positive charge in this pathway, this will produce the more likely product. So for pyridine, it's the third position that is most likely for parole, it's the second position that is most likely to actually take place.